so welcome back to my youtube channel plan 3d tutorial and i'm back with a new video and this video is the first video of the new series which i'm starting as promised about the e3d everything 3d this is this e3d is like most the most trending software in the oil and gas industry so i just wanted to teach you guys this as well along with the plan 3d tutorial and our plan 3 tutorial has quite come a long way and there are many videos which I have created so parallelly I just wanted to create a new playlist of E3D so whichever software my viewers are interested then they can go and watch so let us begin this first video about E3D I hope you have installed the E3D software assuming that uh, here I have opened my E3D again you can see this box here you know, it's on my screen so first starting from the top here we have the like, different projects and these are the default projects provided by the Aviva this software is built by Aviva so here you can see that we have one AMS project you can see that it is Aviva supplied sample marine data and here one more project which we have is Aviva supplied sample plan data so any one project you can select as a sample project and we can start we can start with that we can start with the aviva sample plan data okay you don't have to worry about project creation and all we'll just learn about how to model how to route the pipe and extract isometric the ga drawings the everything what we have learned in plan 3d the same stuff we will learn in aviva e3d so now let us select this project that is APS I'll just click this and you can see now it is asking me the username and the password so the username I will enter as SYSTEM system in caps and the password is 6 times X in caps 1 2 3 4 5 6 yeah that's it and next you can see that here we have four modules one is model draw isodraft and spool the model module is used for like equipment modeling and the piping modeling and rest every everything that is like 3d modeling we do in the model module and the draw module is used to generate the ga drawings uh, this is with respect to the piping and isodraft is used for isometric extraction uh, for now we won't check uh, we won't go into detail of this pool we will talk about this when we have completed all these three modules which are actually the most important ones when it comes to oil and gas as a uh, as a role of a piping designer in oil and gas okay so let us begin this video or if I put in the right words let us begin this e3d series without wasting any more time so now what I have to do is for now I'm just I'll just explain this in the first video I'll just explain you about the basics of e3d and what is what in the screen uh, when we open the e3d so first let us open the model module I'll just click on the model so it might take a few seconds or minute uh, depending upon the speed of your system so we have to wait and I know it's kind of funny my my channel name is plan 3d and I'm right now teaching e3d so I just wanted to expand my channel into some new software because the piping is a large field and it is not dependent only on the plan 3d and when it comes to Aviva 3, e3d it is the most popular software used in the oil and gas industry and it is actually costly software and there is a huge demand of it in the market as well so I just wanted to teach this to my viewers as well and I hope it is a benefit for you for that all I need in return is like share and subscribe to my channel that's it so here you can see that our e3d has opened and this is how the interface looks like so here on the top we have the project name and with model with the model module which we have selected and the Aviva e3d and also we have a arrow mark here with drop down menu with some list like uh, equipment piping HVAC and etc so for example if we are doing an equipment mod uh, we are modeling an equipment so we have to click on this equipment and when we are modeling piping we have to click on piping so that the respective functions are displayed on our ribbon bar 
so since now we will be starting in equipment hopefully in the next video so i will be selecting equipment here so next on the ribbon bar you can see that we have different tabs here uh, this functions which will be using while modeling for example in the home if you see we have like functions like copy then copy offset and etc and move command many things so we'll be learning all these commands and stuffs how to use like on the go while we are modeling and we will not take a separate video for these things because it is not quite useful to have a separate video for these things because we are using the same stuff in our modeling so while we are modeling uh, we can use this stuff and it will be better for me to explain and for you as well to save your time so so next uh, let us see we have a very imp important function in e3d that is command here we might have to use like some commands which will be learning on the go like we'll be learning both uh, how to uh, like you modeling using the commands as well as uh, using the graphical selection method okay so so you can enable the command window from the tools by clicking on the command tab so the command window will enable so for now we don't need that so next uh, let me explain you about this here you can see on the left there is a model explorer so when you click on that you can see that there are different projects like these are the default projects which were provided by aviva 3d of course not the first one this was done by me so we'll be doing a project a separate project similar to this so here you can see that uh, okay before that when you click on project there are some functions here as well like save work get work save work is of course saving the work get work is like when you want to update a model in your work like you which you have brought in from a different projects and and if there are any changes in that projects you want to update it you just have to uh, get work and the model gets updated like it's like a reference project which you are bringing and you want to just update it uh, with the latest changes done in that project okay so next is print i hope i don't need to explain these things and after this options we have like module uh, if you remember initially we had selected the model module so here if you want to go to the iso draft module or the draw module you can just click that and and the interface will be switched to that module okay so now let's see the options in options menu we have like three uh, three tabs that is one is configuration view and discipline so of course configuration is used for like which type of the axis you want and we'll be learning this in detail in some other video but for now this is just an introduction so i'll just ex give a brief idea about it so next view you can see that how the selection snaps should be elements pick control everything can be changed by using the view so we'll be learning these things in our coming videos like discipline as well there are some functions which we need to go into detail but for now let us go back to our home menu so today i'll just show you how to make a site and zone okay so let me just first create a new site site is nothing but uh, like a new project which you are starting so for example since we want to create a site we have to go to this general tab on the ribbon bar so when you click on general there are like you, you can see that there are options like site and zone for first we have to create a site in the site there will be different zones like equipment zone structure zone or whatever okay or if you want any reference you can uh, you can see this default projects provided by the aviva here you can see there is site piping site equipment but we won't go like that we'll follow like one site in that there are different zones that would be a more better option so first we'll create a site when you click on site it will ask you the name of the site so the name will be i'll just write it as e3d tutorial you can give the name as per your requirement okay the name must not contain any spaces so we'll just put an underscore instead of a space yes and next this there is a purpose and below that there are attributes when you click on attributes uh, there are different uh, 
different things if you want you can enter like the owner description of the project i mean the site the function the purpose you can enter here as well then if you scroll down there are like the position with respect to the owner i want the plant to start from 000, zero. so i'll just e is for east n is for north and u is for up that is z okay you can if you want you can enter these things so i'll just ignore this and i'll just click on okay so you can see that the site e3d tutorial has been created so what i need next is first thing i'll do is modeling of equipment so i i want a equipment zone in that zone is nothing but like all the equipments of the plant will be in that zone like it is nothing but a folder which you are creating and uh, where you are placing those equipments like in plant 3d we are creating folders here it is nothing but the site and zones okay so next will be the zone same thing what you have done in the site you have to do the same thing for the zone let us enter the name of the zone that is equipment equipment zone and the purpose and attributes remains the same which i explained in the site and i'll click on ok equipment is uh, like already exist uh, since it is already there in some of the project i guess the same zone we cannot create so i'll use equipment underscore e3d so uh, for every zone we create i'll just use this underscore e3d so there is no duplication of the zones okay i'll click on okay so our zone is created so in that zone we'll be modeling all our equipments so whatever equipment belongs to this project or this site will come under this equipment zone so similarly we'll be creating one piping zone and one uh, structural zone so let me just create it now so one more zone is piping e3d okay so whatever the piping i do and whatever the line numbers covered in our project will come under this piping e3d zone so next is the structure zone i'll just add the structure zone structure e3d underscore e3d so every structure and the civil part which i model will come under this structure zone and of course after doing all your stuff make sure that you save the project on the top you can use the save icon and say yes or you can use the control less of like the shortcut as well so guys i'll just stop this video here i hope you understood about the like the basics of e3d i know uh, it might not be clear for you very much in this first video but i can guarantee you that as per we proceed in our future uh, further videos you will definitely understand and you will definitely become a very good e3d designer i can guarantee you that so please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the videos uh, which i upload so i hope you understood till now about this basics of e3d and if you have any doubts as well you can comment in the comment section which i hopefully i'll clear those doubts in that comment section or in the next video so in our next video actually we'll be starting the equipment modeling which is a main video i could say so like this video subscribe to my channel and till then take care and goodbye